10 ways to be modest in summer. It's actually a misconcept that nowadays you have to look modest because you follow a certain religion. It has a lot of other connotations, but most importantly, you do you. These tips are for people who want to cover up a little bit in summer. They don't necessarily like to show much skin. It could be for religious purposes. It could be because you don't want to uh, affect your skin from the sun, being so exposed to the sun. You could be doing this for various reasons. Let's thank the person who actually recommended and wanted to see this video and let's get started. Picking the right materials. That goes for both seasons, but natural fibers are always the better choice. Things like cotton, linen, and silk, they are breathable and that's so much needed in summer. When you wear materials like elastine and polyester, usually they're cheaper because of re there is a reason. They have plastic in them, which is bad for the environment as one side, but at the same time, they're bad because they m clog your skin and they make the sweat that your body produces smell bad. That's why sometimes you would buy this a chiffon-like material from, I don't know, Primark, and then you would wear the top and then you would smell yourself and you would smell that that just smells wrong. And it's not because you're wearing not wearing deodorant, it's because this material just makes you smell bad. And that's because it's not a natural fiber. So always opt in summer wearing things that are cotton, linen, silk, or a blend if you cannot afford these materials. A blend means like a mix between, for example, cotton and elastine, cotton and viscose, but make sure that the higher percentage is always for the natural fiber in order to eliminate that bad odor that comes from there. I don't get people who wear a lot of layers in summer. It doesn't make sense. Summer is there so that you wear less layers. Winter is there for you to actually layer. So layering is solely something that you should do in winter and avoid doing in summer. So opt for materials and things that are just one layer and they cover you up. If you combine a good material with one item that looks really, really nice, you're gonna look class. Loose fitting clothes are so, important and loose here i do not mean things that are very baggy no loose with structure things like that wing sleeve shirts things that are a little bit loose not too tight on your skin are going to make it easier for your clothes being breathable i'll show you an example this is a t-shirt i had from primark a while ago it's 100 percent cotton so yes you can find things in primark and in h and m that are 100 percent cotton it's just important that you look at the label this is a t-shirt, but it's not a regular t-shirt. It has this bat sleeve wing, and from the side, it's like a cut top, like as if you're wearing something that is not with sleeves, but this just falls on top. And this is beautifully very modest, and it looks the part. This with jeans is very breathable and easy to wear, and that's exactly what you want in your things, to be breathable and easy to wear and loose. Don't buy things that are fit tied to your body because that's not gonna help you be comfortable and summer is all about comfort but looking your best while being comfortable. Colors. I mean, I'm Egyptian if you didn't know already and in my country my grandmother always used to say stay away in summer from dark clothes. There is a reason dark clothes are made for winter and autumn because they attract heat. Darker colors, especially black, attract heat to the body and lighter colors, they kind of not. So I don't know the science behind this because I grew in an area where actually it could go up to 40 degrees. So it's always recommended, as I said, light colors, cotton, linen, silk, light materials, loose fitting. This is going to help you not feel hot in summer and as well look your best and not smell bad, which is important. One piece is rock. If you haven't watched my 10 wardrobe staple video, you would already know. I said there that I wear a white jumpsuit almost all the time. It's one of my favorite things to wear. Jumpsuits, dresses. Take note of these things because they eventually look great and just with a little accessory like a belt around the waist for something that is loose to define your waist a little bit or something like that is going to help you a lot stay cool in summer and at the same time not uh, feel uncomfortable or that you're wearing something very, very heavy. 
monochromatic looks. Yes, why? Because in winter you have these elements to wear that actually elevate your look, like coats and heavy scarves, fur maybe, boots, these things dress you up instantly. Summer clothes that are loose fitting could take away the classiness in your looks. That's why I always think when you make a look, even if it's loose and baggy, in a monochromatic tone, it instantly elevates it and takes it to the next level. A silk scarf has been known worldwide for class and epitome. Definitely, if you can't afford an Hermes scarf, get it on eBay, get it secondhand. It's a luxury piece. But trust me, if I'm wearing my white jumpsuit alone, just defining my waist with a belt, putting a scarf on my neck, instantly it will make me look my best. And that's absolutely what you want from a silk scarf. But a good rule of thumb is to make sure to look at your closet. If you most of the time wear monochromatic clothes, then opt for a scarf that is colorful to break the monochromatic look and add to your outfit a statement piece. If you mostly wear colored items, then I would opt for something monochromatic so that it does not create clutter when I'm wearing a patterned scarf and a patterned clothes. So you have to choose the pattern of the scarf or the overall look according to what you have in your closet in order to opt for a scarf that you wear all the time and makes you look perfect. Cardigans. Cardigans for summer is one other thing. I love loose fitting cardigans that look the part. I stray away somehow from very knitted ones. Definitely if it's made for summer then of course, but in general I like to always go for things that are like linen, uh, lace, things like that. Choose fabrics wisely and actually one thing that you could borrow like from the Islamic websites is the abayas. Open abayas are very very known to be loose fitting colorful, nice, and you just put it on an outfit that you think is not very modest and right away instantly they add this hyped up look. You don't need to buy a maxi one, you could buy a calf length one or a knee length one and they would also work perfectly. My main abeya that I have right now is this black chiffon see-through one and it has loose arms as you can see with very small detailed pearls in them and it's absolutely beautiful. I just throw this on when I am wearing things that I feel like they need a little bit of covering. I wore this actually on top of a dress that I wanted to wear for a wedding ceremony and it was a little bit, the dress was a little bit revealing from the back and I just throw this on and it looked beautiful with a belt. It's just, this cardigan piece is always a must have in summer, but be smart and buy ones that are neutral, that are loose as well and that are good material and it's gonna act like your best friend. You know when you see something in stores, it looks beautiful, color is beautiful. You've seen it on a model, it's trendy, and you wanna buy it, but the problem is it's actually not modest. Stop trying too hard. Buy things that are already designed to be modest. Let's look at this. I bought this top, okay? I love the color of it. I love the cut of it. I mean, yeah, buy the beige top I've showed you and do not buy that one. But if you just have to buy it, then a cardigan, a loose abeya would help you with it. Or please do not wear underneath these tops a tight shirt. I know some summer spaghetti dresses are out there with the trend of wearing a t-shirt underneath it. This look is for kindergarten kids. This is what our moms used to do when something just fits a little bit loosely. And that's totally not ladylike in my own humble opinion. If you wanna wear this and still look nice, it would be nice if you wear a shirt with flowy arms or a detail in the arms, maybe in the same color or a white neutral or a beige color, something like that could dress it up. I always had this problem buying t-shirts that always come up buy t-shirt body suits. They exist. I bought mine from Primark. T-shirt, as you can see, but it's a body suit from the bottom that opens up and closes so that you're always, when you bend and move, it's covered. When you're building something for summer, start with basics and then build up. A problem a lot of people do is that they'll have a very colorful top uh, that is very revealing and then they want to cover it so they layer a piece underneath it maybe a white cami or a black cami and then they come and say like ah what would I wear at the bottom oh I have this colorful pants and then they end up looking not put together so key here is always have basics either the bottom or the top have them as a basic layer to build on 
All my bottoms for summer are basic, They're either white, jeans or black, nothing extra there. And from there, any blouses, any cardigans, anything I put on top, is gonna stand out because I have one basic that I always build on. In summer, that's very essential. And it always, because I try to go to monochrome, it's always very easy. I have a loose fitting palazzo pant or a culotte in black. So I know that my black tops will look great on this because I'm gonna look monochromatic. Again, my white skirt with a white chemise or a white top will look gorgeous. If I'm gonna wear a beige or something and I don't have a beige bottom, that means this could be worn maybe with jeans and uh, accessories and it will dress it up. So always build your blocks with basics, then top it off, not the other way around in order to look put together. Important to note that there is a spectrum for modesty. So it's not a one fit fits all because some people are very modest. They don't wanna show anything from their body. Some people fall in between. They don't mind if the silhouette shows. Some people are like, okay, I can wear anything I want, but I don't want anything like higher than my knee too much or something like that. And there is always a choice. So if you want to wear shorts, you can wear pantacores instead you can wear the kilots instead uh, if you want to wear shorts badly and i know some people like that save shorts for winter i know that sounds weird but be, with stockings and boots they can work but in summer it's kind of too flashy if you're very very modest so as i say it's all about thinking about things sitting analyzing i hope you enjoyed that video Comment if you want to see more videos like that. Like, subscribe. Upcoming next is gonna be a video about how to select the best swimsuit for your body. Also, I'm planning to make a playlist of finding your style, your body shape, your skin tone, and everything in order to create the best capsule closet for yourself. So stay tuned for all of this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.